This is my first encounter with a venomous timber rattler on the trail. This is a yellow-faced timber rattlesnake on a trail passing through a rocky outcrop in the Shining Rock Wilderness in the mountains of western North Carolina at nearly 6,000 feet elevation. With no tree cover, but very dense grass and brush cover that probably provides a lot of rodents. This is somewhat unusual for a snake that prefers dense hardwood forest, but the abundance of high rocky outcrops and little cavity areas and prey probably makes for a nice ecosystem for mature snakes like this. This snake is pretty large for a timber rattler. About half of its body is lying across the trail, so it's about four feet long and typically very thick and heavy bodied. You can see the classic pits of the pit vipers on the side of the head and the slit eyes that are a telltale sign of a poisonous snake. This yellow faced snake with the hourglass dorsal markings is pretty easy to see. This snake may well be pregnant as late summer and early fall is when they deliver live young. She was warming up in the sun on the trail and somewhat lethargic and reluctant to move for some time, partly because it was 55 degrees and partly because they tend to freeze when disturbed. We were tipped off by a passing hiker that the snake was up ahead. That's good trail etiquette, and so we were prepared. I can't say for sure if we would have seen the snake and not stumbled upon it. This is how most snake bites on the trail occur, but I think we would have seen it. However, I'd be very cautious about taking the many short side trails through the dense grass and brush that go to small rocky outcrops off the main trail. This is where one is most likely to surprise a coiled snake waiting for prey. Timber rattlers do have some of the strongest venom of all rattlers and their bites can be fatal. Note that I resisted the temptation to bother or otherwise molest the snake to get better video action. This video simply shows their normal behavior when encountering people on the trail. They are not aggressive or dangerous and would much rather run or freeze than fight. You can also see how easy it would be to kill this snake with a rock or a hiking stick. That of course should never be done. They are actually quite rare in many places. The whole purpose of hiking in wilderness is to get outside and experience nature in all its glory. If you encounter a snake on the trail, admire it at a safe distance, give it some room and just walk around it. 